So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Xamarin when you're happy Friday! Yes, I know. There's no wheel video today. But for this week only, the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! episode 12 will actually be tomorrow. So, guys, come on. Make sure you guys have your notification bell turned on for tomorrow's Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! challenge episode number 12. It's gonna be insane! Brand new Ice Barrier Structure deck just got released. And you guys already know, your boy always come up with some of the oh, sexiest, wow. competitive, $30 budget structure deck profiles for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you here on the channel for the very first time, consider on hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on. Oh man, it's too cold in here. We had to break the notification bell. Turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload videos. That'll be absolutely amazing. And don't forget to break the notification bell that that thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And guys, if you guys see this video, if you guys see this video with 3,000 plus likes, I'll get you guys with the most competitive Ice Barrier deck in 2021. Saying that, the word competitive and Ice Barriers usually don't go together, but I'm telling you guys right now what you guys are about to see in the full power video. This deck is just insane. First and foremost, we want to start off with, of course, the brand new Triple Revealer of the Ice Bear. She's obviously like the best starter in the entire deck. Essentially, your pseudo needle fiber uh, for the deck. She's absolutely incredible. You can discard one card, special summon one ice barrier, tuner from your deck. Amazing. Also, for the rest of the turn, you can not special summon monsters except for water monsters. Well, this deck is all water, anyways. So, you're not going to be special summoning any other monsters except for water monsters whenever you utilize her ability. She's super great. The best starter in your entire deck. So, while she's face up on the field, while you control another ice barrier monster, your opponent cannot tribute summon, which is really good. So if you're playing against, let's say you're playing against Drytron with his $30 deck, and your opponent has two monsters in the field and you're trying to tribute summon from Vanny's Ruler. While you control Reveal of Dice Bear, obviously your opponent cannot tribute summon from Vanny's Ruler. If you're playing against Monarchs, for example, your opponent won't be able to tribute summon, uh, which is really good. So it's kind of like a mini floodgate on the field, but nonetheless, her ability to just special summon any tuner monster directly from the deck is just absolutely insane. Her, with any tuner, becomes a level seven synchro, level six synchro immediately. She's just super duper great uh, for the deck. Best starter, hands down. Triple Revealer of the Ice Barrier. Uh, next off, another great starter in the deck that comes in the structure deck is Triple Genix Undyne. Uh, this card is insane. The fact that it dumps any water monster to the grave is just really, really good. There's two card combo with this deck where if you don't win up with Revealer, you can get access to Revealer with just Genix Undyne, which is really good. Especially opening up with Undyne and also freezing changes the Ice Barrier, you pretty much have full combo like you were gonna have Revealer of the Ice Barrier, right? So Undyne is just really good. One of the most reliable starter cards in the entire deck aside from Revealer of the Ice Barrier. So I believe you must maximize yourself on actually playing three copies of this card. And obviously, if you're playing Undyne, you're gonna play one copy of uh, Genix Controller. I feel like with this $30 budget structure deck, you wanna try to maximize yourself on actually drawing as many starters as possible. And Reveal of the Ice Bear, you're always playing three of, you're also playing three Medallion of the Ice Bears, and you wanna keep maximizing yourself on actually seeing your starter cards, and Genix Undyne is actually one of them. So, not only does Genix Undyne dump any of your water monsters directly from your deck to the graveyard, but it also gets you a free search, which is Genix Controller, and obviously Revealer needs you to discard a card to trigger off her effect, so you can easily just discard the control that you search to activate Revealer's ability, right? So, uh, Undyne is just absolutely crucial uh, in the deck, in my personal opinion. So, triple copies of Undyne. Just in case you don't open up Revealer, you wanna see Undyne. Uh, next up, of course, uh, Speaker of the Ice Barrier, or Mako of the Ice Barrier. She's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, what she does is that while you control the Ice Barrier monster, uh, you can special in this card from your hand. While you control the Ice Barrier monster, defense position monster opponent controls cannot change your battle positions, which is actually really cool. She's basically two extenders built in one. You can special in her from the hand if you control another Ice Barrier monster. You can also banish herself from the graveyard to special an Ice Barrier token. Aqua, water level one, attack zero, and defense zero, uh, which is a really good action. Help make your combo plays and get access into your sub zero Trishula or your Trishula Dragon the Ice Barrier, right? So speaking of the Ice Barrier, is just really good. An additional token body on the board and also another extender, which is really awesome. Next off, I'm gonna play two copies of Hexa Spirit of the Ice Bear. Honestly, it's one of those cards that's it's cute but ugly, you know what I mean? It's like, 
it's pretty beat actually. <laughs> uh, discard level one Sea Serpent Tutor Effect Monster, and it's an Ice Barrier, so you can smash some of this card directly from the deck of uh, Revealer. And while this card is facing on the field, while you control the Ice Barrier Monster, your opponent monster lose 500 attack and defense, uh, which is really amazing. And during the main phase, you can send one level three or lower Ice Barrier Monster from your deck to the graveyard, and you can manipulate this card's level. So if you send a level two Ice Barrier Monster, this card becomes level two. If you send a level three, it becomes a level three. So this card essentially, with Revealer the Ice Barrier, becomes basically a level six or a level seven. Uh, synchro immediately. So Hexa Spear to Ice Spear is just really, really good uh, in my personal opinion. One of the best tuners in the deck. Next, we're gonna play two copies of Prior the Ice Spear. There are so many ways to get access to this card directly from the graveyard. I don't think his primary ability is good for this deck, especially the fact that if you special summon this card from your hand, you can't special summon level five or higher monsters. If you special summon this card that way, I don't know why they made this card like that. Like, it's an Ice Barrier monster. Like, I don't get it. Um, but prior is just really good. The fact that you contribute this card to special one Ice Barrier Monster from your graveyard is just amazing. So you can bring this card off with Surface, or you can use cards like Freezing Chains to bring this card back and attribute itself to special one like Revealer from the graveyard, which is a really great toolbox ability play to actually continue into your Synchro plays, uh, which is really good. Being a special one this card from your hand, but more than likely, like I want to pitch this card out of Revealer and then bring it back with Freezing Chains and things like that. And this card is obviously really good with General Wayne. Nonetheless, this card's a really great extender for the deck. I'm actually back and forth between two to three copies of this card, but at least you gotta play two copies of Prior of the Ice Spear. Uh, this card is actually really, really good. So, double copies of Prior. Oh, by the way, this card can special them back your Ice Spear Synchro Monsters from the Grave, uh, which is really good. Doesn't have a level restriction, which is nice. Next off, two copies of General Wayne. Card is really good. Throw and Trap card sent from the field to your opponent's graveyard or banished instead. It's kind of like a mini Macro Cosmos, which is really nice. And if your opponent controls a monster, you control an Ice Barrier monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Kind of unfortunate because it's like your opponent needs to control a monster, uh, so it's only really good while going second. And nonetheless, if you can get access to this card in the graveyard, like using Genix on to dump this, and then activating prior to special summon this card from your graveyard, it's just absolutely amazing, right? And when this card is normal summon or special summon, you basically get to search any Ice Barrier spawn trap directly from your deck to your hands. So General Wayne of the Ice Barrier is just really good for that. And especially opening up with Wayne, Revealer and Mako, I mean Speaker, you pretty much have pretty good uh, first turn combos uh, from there on, right? So, double copies of General. Next off for the one ofs, of course, one Defender of the Ice Barrier uh, and one Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. You can usually dump this to the graveyard. You can dump prior to the graveyard off Hexa as well. Uh, but Hexa usually dump one of these cards to the graveyard so you can copy its levels, uh, which is really nice. Obviously, we don't have access to Needle Fiber. We do have access to Hockey Fibrax. These cards become a little bit better than it is in this deck right now without the Needle Fiber, right? But nonetheless, you gotta play one of the copies of these cards because the Revealer can special some of these cards from the deck because they are tuners, and Hexa can also send these cards to the graveyard to manipulate their levels, which is really good, right? And last but not least, three extenders, uh, double copies of Silent Angler right here. Uh, this card reads, if you control a water monster, you special this card from your hand, but you do not special monsters from your hand for the rest of this turn. So it's a great extender for the deck, it's level four, and you know, Silent Angler with Hexa, you pretty much have either Delorean, Bryonac, or Gungnir, which is really good, right? So, Sangler is a really nice, great extender for the deck, in my opinion. Uh, next off of the spells, uh, Triple Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Uh, this card is just really good. Searches any of your Ice Barrier monster directly from your deck to your hand. Obviously, it's a roll up. You can't afford not to play three. Uh, next off, you play Triple Copies of Wind over the Ice Barrier. This card is really good. Great toolbox card. And it special ones an Ice Barrier monster directly from the deck. So, you can tribute any number of Ice Barrier monsters, special from your deck that many level four or lower Ice Barrier monsters with different names from each other. Uh, so this card is just really good. Like it turns your bad ice bear monsters into a revealer, which is really nice. And during the main phase, except to turn this card with something to graveyard, you can banish this card from your grave, target an ice bear monster uh, that is banished or in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it's a great toolbox card in the deck. And it can also special any level four or lower ice bear monster from the deck. So whatever missing combo pieces you need, you can turn your, let's say your Cryomancer or your Defender into live ice bear monsters, right? Uh, which is really, really good. Next off, I believe like the best pull in the deck is triple copies of Freezing Chains of the Ice Bear. Uh, this card is insane on activation. It's like kind of like a World Legacy Guard Dragon. When this card is activated, you can target on level four lore Ice Bear monster in Graveyard, special summon it. So it's a monster of one, which is also searchable off General Wayne. And its secondary ability is pretty awesome too, because while you control three or more Ice Bear monsters, Ice Bear monsters you control are unaffected by activated card effects from your point monster that will special summon from the extra deck, which is an additional bonus, uh, which is pretty cool, but obviously you're gonna be utilizing its primary effect more than anything. Next off for your staple cards, uh, double copies of Salvage and double copies of Surface. Surface is really good because it can actually be worn back prior to the Ice Bear, 
uh, which is really nice. So you can warm back prior. Not to be the fact, bring back General Wayne. Uh, Surface is really great. And Salvage, great toolbox card for the deck in my opinion. This is a really great card to help you recur your monsters from the grave, uh, which is pretty nice. Going through the traps, for the traps, of course, one Terra of Trishula, only one copy. I don't know why this card isn't treated as an Ice Barrier card. If General Wayne can search this, it would have been so much better. You guys can just cut this if you guys like. But if you control an Ice Barrier Synchro Monster, you can utilize this card's ability in sequence. So if you control one, you banish one card in opponent controls. If you control two, you banish one card in opponent controls and banish one card in your opponent's graveyard. And if you control three Ice Barrier Synchro Monster, you can basically use all three effects. Uh, you know, banish a card from your opponent's hand, graveyard, and field, uh, which is really good. And also, when your opponent activates card or effect and targets nice barrier single monster you control, you banish the card from the graveyard and negate the effect, uh, which is really awesome. So it's kind of like a, it has a graveyard and negate ability, which is actually amazing. So one Terra of uh next off for your traps, obviously. You kind of like control with this deck, so Phoenix Chain uh, becomes really important. Phoenix Chain is just really, really nice. And last but not least, of course, we're gonna play three copies of Crackdown. Crackdown is just absolutely insane for this deck. Steal your opponent's monsters, synchro with them, do whatever you want with them. More than likely, you're gonna be able to synchro with them, uh, which is actually really, really good. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. Uh, the main deck, I believe, is absolutely perfect. I'm not play any of the level higher Ice Barrier monsters other than General Wayne. I feel like those cards are just bricks. Like, you guys can play whatever you guys want. It's all up to personal preference of what you guys wanna play. If you guys wanna play uh, Dai Sojo, General Ryo, Medium, uh, Gatala or uh, Grenard, you guys go ahead and do so, but I really don't like these cards for the deck. I feel like if you're trying to build a deck as competitively as possible, you want to try to basically bring out the, the synchros as quickly as you can, and you want to try to minimize your bricks, right? And if Freezing Chains, the spell card, can special them in the bigger guys from the graveyard, I would at least play one of these guys for sure. Like Medium is just really good, and Katala is really good, and Grenard is really good, but those cards don't do that. Like Freezing Chain only special level four lore. If it's special level five or higher too, that would have been just insane. So, yeah, man, like I'm not playing any of the bigger guys. You guys can go ahead and do so. Play the bigger guys if you guys would like. But for this build, I'm not playing any of the bigger guys. All right, guys, off to the extra deck, of course. You want to play triple copies of Sub Zero Trish uh, on summon. Banish up three cards, your point of controls. It's a level 11. This card doesn't target, so it's a Dragoon. And once it dies, uh, once it dies, it brings out Trish, has an attack on your opponent's monster, and also negate the monster that was halved, which does not target as well. So, Trishula Zero Dragon Dice Bear is just really great. And unfortunately, one copy of Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bear. This card's at three, would have been really, really good. Next up, we're playing, of course, triple copies of Gungnir. It comes in the structure deck, so why not? Uh, triple Browneck, and last but not least, triple Dwarren uh, right here. Drawn off for all the extra deck monsters we're playing uh, in the deck right here. Planning is always at the personal premise, obviously, uh, with uh, the structure deck. So here we go, uh, Moon and Glacia. Next, we got Spellbreaker. Uh, say goodbye to Sky Striker if you resolve her ability. Warlock, this is the anti-spell, uh, which is really nice. You can side these cards. Uh, of course, Triple Mirror of the Ice Bear. Card is good against the Mirror Match. Uh, triple Heavy Storm Duster. If you're playing Sealed, Ice Bear deck versus Ice Bear, you're playing three copies of this in the main deck. Like, kills Crackdown, kills Fiend Shade. Card is just insane. Next, of course, you're playing Triple Mind Drain. Card is really awesome. And last but not least, you're playing Triple Copies of a point of Red Lotus. Like, this structure deck has a lot of crazy reprints, despite the fact that they didn't print Cross Designator in here, but nonetheless, I feel like these cards are just absolutely amazing uh, for the value that you're just getting with just $30, right? So, that's pretty much it for the side deck. All the personal preference on what you guys wanna play, but these are just an idea on what you guys can use when it comes to using $30 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh! Freezing Chains structure deck. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Let's go on with some of the cool combos you guys can actually do with this deck right here. All right, guys, welcome to the combo side of this video. I'm gonna showcase you guys two basic combos you guys can utilize when it comes to playing the brand new Ice Bear structure deck with only three copies. So 30 bucks will get you this. If you guys have access to more money, I would recommend you guys getting Marissa's Anemone, Shooting Riser Dragon, Quizron Hockey Five Brax, a bunch of crazy, cool extra deck cards that you guys will be needing, which I'm gonna showcase you guys in the full power video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But nonetheless, two basic combos you guys can do with this deck. Before we get started, if you guys haven't gotten your limited edition Battles of Legends play mat, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at ts1.com. You see how it's beautiful this Blue Eyes is and Sage getting ready to attack the Dragoon right here with all the powers being activated. 
limited edition stamp right here, only gonna be available for a limited time only, and I have this available in limited edition cloth as well. So if you guys are interested in that, get it today in the link down below at tx1.com. All right, so what can you do with this? So first and foremost, uh, with these three cards, you wanna normal summon revealer, activate revealer's effect. Uh, you can discard this unknown card that you have in your hand. Uh, discard it to the graveyard. You're gonna smash summon Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Bear directly from the deck. And then what you can do is that you can smash summon uh, your Speaker of the Ice Bear uh, directly from your hand because you control an Ice Barrier monster. And now what you can do is just very simple. You can either use Revealer, Speaker, and also your Hexa Spirit. You can synchro these cards away to make your first turn Trishula, the Dragon of the Ice Bear. So this card will be able to banish your card in your opponent's hand on the very first turn, which is really good. Or if you like, you can activate Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Bear. Send your Defender of the Ice Bear to the graveyard. Uh, this card now becomes level three. So three, four, seven, plus four is of course 11. Synchro so these three cards right here to make your first turn Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Bear right here. Banish up three cards your opponent controls, uh, which is actually really good. And you also have Speaker in the graveyard to activate her ability to banish to give you a token, uh, which is also really good. So this is a first turn. Very basic, zero dragging the ice bear. Uh, you summon this card, you banish three cards, and if it dies, you bring out Trish uh, directly from your graveyard extra deck, uh, which is actually really, really good in my opinion. So that's pretty much it for the basic 2.5 card combo. Let's go on to the next combo real quick. All right, guys, the next combo is very simple as well. All you need is Genesis Undying and also Freezing Chains of the Ice Bear. And this is what you can do with this combo right here. So first and foremost, you're gonna normal summon Genesis Undying, activate Undying's ability. You're gonna dump your Revealer of the Ice Bear to the graveyard, and then you're gonna add Genesis Controller directly from your deck to your hand. And now what you're gonna do is that from your hand, you're gonna activate Freezing Chains of the Ice Bear, activate this card's ability to special summon Revealer uh, from the graveyard, and now you're gonna activate Revealer's effect to ditch the free Genix on 9 that you search. So this is a two card combo, uh, which is really good. You're gonna special summon Hexa directly from the deck, but now what you can do is just very, very simple. You're gonna activate Hexa's ability. You're gonna dump your prior of the Ice Bear to the graveyard. This card will now become level two. So two, three, five, plus four is what? Nine. So you use these three cards right here to make your first turn Trishula, the Dragon, the Ice Bear uh, right here, which is really good. So this is a two card Trishula. Uh, which is really awesome. Undyne directly gets you access to Revealer, uh, which is actually really, really good. And Freezing Change is absolutely amazing. Just to showcase you guys some cool two card, 2.5 card combos uh, for this deck right here. So that's some basic combos that you guys can utilize with this deck right here. I feel like this deck is just very fun to play on a casual level. Uh, really good for a budget $30 deck. If you guys wanna see more in-depth combos with the full power competitive deck, make sure you guys smash the living hand of that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for Sunday, all right? Better give this video 3,000 plus likes for Sunday's video of the full power uh, Ice Bear deck. This is gonna be insane, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.